Good day from SeaWorld San Diego. It is the first day of the Lunar New Year event they're doing. This is one of the shorter events they have. It goes from the 11th of Saturday, which is today, to February 2nd on select dates, mainly weekends and uh, off days. Very excited because I've never done this event, but they're going to have food, entertainment, shows, merchandise probably. So let's get in and check it out. Now, last time I was here, they were in the process of removing all the Christmas stuff. The tree's gone. The Merry Fishmas tree's gone. They still have the tree on the Sky Tower. So we'll see if they still have Christmas stuff out as well. I'm sure most of the stuff is going to be here in the festival little courtyard area. Let's check out the bow buns. Just like they did at the Christmas celebration, they have souvenir decorating cookie kits. So you select your box and you've got your icings here. And here's a look at the cookie boxes. I like that design. It actually looks pretty cool. Here's a look at some of the menu at the popcorn stand. But look at the first few items. Unique items for the event. Very nice. Over here they have a stir fry noodles booth. And look at what they're offering. This all sounds so good. I'm gonna have to come back and try and get more of the food. It's gonna be hard to eat this much today. Here's the festival stage they've set up. Very nice. And here's a look at the show times. They actually have a lot going on over here. Four different shows all throughout the day. They've decorated the beer card. As far as I can tell, though, there's nothing special for the Lunar New Year. Unless the beers are. But you can't see what they are yet because the truck is closed. Oh no, the Bauhaus isn't open. And for that matter, nothing really is. A little unusual because it is 11.15. Usually the food booths for any event they do, like the Seven Seas Food Festival, are open by 11. Granted, this is the first day, so probably to be expected, a little bit of delay. This wall that they've had beneath the Sky Tower, they've actually put a lot of information about the Chinese New Year all along it. Kind of fascinating, so I'm going to actually go through and read it. The Chinese calendar goes off of the sun and moon. Um, that's why their New Year's different every year. It lasts 15 days. Looks like I was born during the year of the horse. What year were you born? How many animals can we get here? Let's head back to the Mission Bay Theater and see what times they're doing the acrobat show because that is where that is being held. Uh, what would this pool over here be without a spinning sea lion? There's always at least one. Looks like I just missed showtime. The next one's at 1245. But it says you can now reserve your seats with the app. I don't even have the app. Maybe I should look into that. I do love their design for the rat, even though it looks a lot like a mouse. I guess the fish here from Electric Ocean are permanent. They've been here for a long time, but they even look good in the daylight with the reflection of the sun. I've never really gotten a good look at the ray pool because it's always so crowded. But this is the petting area up here. But down here, it gets much deeper. And this is actually where you walk by the queue for Manta. And you can see in there. And then you have the just viewing area side as well. You can actually see the windows through here. Pretty cool. Hanging out with dolphins is a good way to pass the time while waiting for the food booth to open. They actually went and updated this entire sign. Not only do they tell you where the things are, but they have cool little icons, and they tell you how long it is. That's awesome. Notice they also got rid of Ocean Explorer. Now I asked about what time the booths open. Um, I only asked one, they might be different, but she said like 12.30. It's kind of late. I have the all day dining deal and I'm getting hungry, so I might grab something else before then. Well, all the Christmas stuff that was in view, this is where the Sesame Village was, is gone, but behind, the fence you can still see the house they're taking it all apart they pulled this light tunnel out for the christmas celebration but they should just leave it up they can use it for any event I actually stopped to the explorer cafe to get an impossible burger while i wait for the food booth to open now the reason i did this is kind of funny i mean i got the all season dining plan which is such a deal it's 120 dollars all season for a whole year i got a 15 dollar meal last time this was $15, so that's already 30 bucks. I have $90 left to go until everything else is essentially free. But let's try this out. I've only had one other Impossible Burger before. Actually, I've had a few. Let's see if this is good. This is actually very good. 
Wow. I will definitely be getting this again. Because, you know, they can get free food here now. So here's what I mean. The sign for Journey to Atlantis says maintenance, whereas Tidal Twister says operational improvements. I wonder if part of their maintenance consists of picking up all of the loose coins that have been thrown in here. Maybe, maybe not. I was here only a few days ago, and since then, they've already almost completed the loop. There's probably one or two more track pieces that go right in between there. What's neat about this loop is you can see how it twists. It comes up one way, but it's like at an angle. Interesting. I can hear construction equipment back there as well, so they're probably working today. You'll see that the massive tree is down, but they're still taking away the rest of the stage pieces. Let's take a look at Wild Arctic though. Yesterday was its last day in operation. I see people heading this way though. Let's see what's going on. So standing out front, the only thing that I'm noticing that's different is this middle piece of the sign has been completely removed. The one with the arrow pointing you to the ride. Because the walkthrough exhibition, this is still the entrance for it. At least for now. Maybe they'll change it once they start construction. But you'll see over here, for these ones, Wild Arctic is closed. Farewell. I've actually never taken the exhibit path, so let's go ahead and do it. Next flight, 12 minutes? I think not. This is kind of cool because I don't think I've actually been in here. If I have, I don't remember. I think they at one point maybe played the pre-show here. Then again, you don't get in a helicopter, so it wouldn't make any sense. Okay, it all makes sense now. So you come out to this point. I guess this is maybe the helicopter you rode in, and then it takes you out to the exhibit. So it just walks you through the middle. It is good to see they're at least keeping this part of the building intact until they actually start construction. Oh no, they've blocked off the corridors. I don't even know how you get back to these simulators. It's kind of strange. Like, there must be another entrance on the other side of the building. Because I've never once been on these or seen them being used. You know, even though there's speculation that the 2021 ride will be a coaster here in Wild Arctic, I actually want it to be a simulator. Because they don't have any dark rides except this one. And if they just made it a lot better, kind of like Star Tours made it 3D and made it a lot more exciting and updated it, I think it'd be really cool. Because they already have the foundation to do it. I mean. Take a look at the theming they have in this area. It's fantastic. I like them to keep it as best they can. This guy is just not having it today. Hey buddy, you gonna move or are you just gonna hang out? said Wild Arctic the ride was closing that's what they meant just the ride everything else is intact which is kind of nice I'm glad they did that until they actually start work on it because I'm sure it'll be a while they still have to finish Emperor first he likes the camera <laughs> all right we're gonna head into the Mission Bay theater to check out the acrobat show Luckily, it doesn't seem to be getting as busy as the Christmas.
is all I could say to that show. It was so incredible. Not only is it the best show they've ever done at SeaWorld, it's probably one of the best live performances I've ever seen. I mean, it was it was long too. It was about half an hour. Um, it was just crazy, the amount of stamina it takes to do those things. When she was spinning the table, like, that's a real table. I thought it was gonna, if you drop it, that's gonna go flying somewhere and hit someone. I didn't record it, but she got to the point where it was on, she had a leg on her foot. And the contortioning and the, the jumping, it was just insane. It was amazing. Highly recommend you come out here before February 2nd to check that out. Absolutely don't miss it. Best show at SeaWorld. Okay. Well, it's late enough for the food booths to be open, so let's see if we can get some bowels. I do want to point out, I've noticed throughout the park, that the signs are still the old ones. The only one they updated is that one right by the main entrance. Got really busy here in the central area, and they're out of bowels at the moment, unfortunately. So maybe I'll, uh, they'll get some more later, but I'll, maybe I'll check something else out. Here's a look at the three different ramen soups. Look like good kind of sample sizes, a little more than a sample. I pointed out in the last video how the fried rice booth got moved over here into the Sky Tower. That's because they also have special fried rice options for the Lunar New Year event. Decided to go with some garlic shrimp lo mein. You can see them making it right here. Looks delicious. All right, here's the shrimp lao mein from the little stir fry booth. Looks pretty good. It's a thousand degrees, so I'll wait on it to cool. That lao mein, not good. I mean, it was dry. I didn't even taste the garlic, and there was only three shrimp on it. The two you saw on top, that was it. There was like one other one. Three shrimp total, so would not recommend that. And the stir fry itself wasn't good, so I wouldn't recommend any of the three flavors, the beef or the vegetable. Hopefully the bowels are better. Figure we'll do electric eel before heading out. Because it's not too long. Longer than usual, but not too bad. That is going to do it here from SeaWorld San Diego Lunar New Year. I like the little rat, rat guy here. Definitely a great event. Uh, it was weird because I was excited about the food and didn't really care too much about the show. The show was incredible, absolutely amazing. And the food wasn't that great. That shrimp, la mein, whatever, the Impossible Burger was a lot better. I like that though. So highly recommend you come check out the Lunar New Year, especially the show. I will be back for the Bauhaus though because they were out today and I really wanted to try it. I'm sure those will be better, but what are you excited for here? That is gonna do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.